one of the main reasons why I started my YouTube channel is because I wanted to give honest, accurate information to what's actually going on out there. Instead of having all this nonsense that these shill media sites are putting out there to have you believe that entertainment is the best it's ever been, when clearly you can see it's not. It's a lot of terrible crap being put out and we're being led to believe that this is somehow fantastic. I saw Neon from um, Clownfish TV did a, did a video about how these, all these, these, these shill media sites like CBR and Screen Rant and them, how they're all basically owned by, the, by, by one major company one major company owns them and they are, and and this is and this is this is why you get the same kind of information coming from all of them about how great everything is i even saw west from thinking critical did a video when it comes to the comic books and how you can't trust some of these so-called reviewers so i decided i would put my two cents in here also and and give you a chance to see why you really and truly cannot trust a lot of these so-called expert reviewers and the crap that they put out because youtubers like us we our souls i, I can speak for myself here my soul is not for sale I am telling you, I give you honest, insightful information, honest reviews. That's one thing you can always be certain about when it comes to what I'm doing here. Honest reviews. I don't sugarcoat anything. I don't try to make anything sound like it better than it actually is. Nothing. I tell you as is, that is it. I don't sugarcoat anything at all. I let you know up front this is what it is this is what's happening this is what's going on i'm not here to try and make it seem like there's something else. and each video that i put out i do an honest review of everything i talk i take up talk about i tell you why it is the way it is and why the way it isn't it's made me unpopular with people a lot of people don't like what i have to say and people think i'm I, i'm whining and bitching about different things but this is reality and this is this is the truth i am putting out here and if and the reason i'm doing it is because when you start to see things that will go straight to hell you're going to you want you have honest information as to why this is happening so let's get in to how some of these so-called comic book reviewers and the things that they do and you can get a chance to actually see why these people cannot be trusted should not be trusted here we have kendra hale from um her comic book reviews she's from um dark knight news and dc comics news 205 reviews look at what you have here harley quinn 2021 annual at 10 out of 10 that's a perfect comic that means everything is great the the, the story the art the pacing the inking the lettering, everything is absolutely great everything is good look at the others harley quinn's going down here eight 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 we get one six and then we have alice ever after my one harley quinn number seven twenty seven seventeen ten ten eight ten ten i mean you really think harley quinn comics are so perfect that they will get a 10 out of 10 there is so much wrong in, in, in what in the harley quinn comics you can't even really to to think about it and let's not forget that whole eat king bang bang tall nonsense that they did and just pretty much destroyed what was left of that character and this is what you're getting look at the dc car presents 10 10 10 10 10 10 you go all the way down to december 8 2021 you get a five that's in one five you get there I don't know if that be really horrible. You're going down 10, 10, 10, 10, 10, 10. You get a 6, 10, 8, 10. All of these, just based, all these comics are just absolutely, according to the this person's review, all these comics are perfect. Nothing is wrong with them. All of them are perfect. Everything is fantastic. Everything that they're being done about it is a pure gold. You go on to, you go on to um, Darren generally, probably a fake name or something here. Um, review for super powered fan cast he have 3894 reviews look at what he has here 9.0 8 8.9 8.4 9.2 9.2 9.5 8.8 9.4 9.3 you got one 6.0 but basically every comic that he reviews is fantastic it's above average it's great 
you all in the nines, all in the eight, you get one or two little sevens here, and you might get your occasional six, but everything is just fantastic. 7.8, 8.7, 8.8, 8.9, 9.3. You get a 7.3 here, that's still above average, yeah? and so it going now. I mean, look at the comments that you have here. Aquaman on the Flash Void song, 9.3. That comic was so bad, it didn't, it didn't even score. I still tell you how bad it is. It could not even make it in to the top 200 comics. That's how bad it is. And according to this person, it's a 9.3. You have Aquaman 9.0. You have another Aquaman, Aquaman one shot. All these comics have been have fallen out. You're just giving them fantastic scores. Avengers and all this thing. You get one Avengers for 6.0. All this 8.9, 8.8. And so you keep going. Batgirl, number two, Batman, 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 Catwoman, Batman, Superman, Batman, World's Finest, Batman, The Outsiders. I'm not saying some of these comics aren't okay, but all of them, 8.9 points, you know, no way in hell, no way in hell are all these comics. You have Batman Fortress, 2.0, that's the same comic where Batman left people to riot and people say, you know, he, 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 with, he, with Antifa now and he doesn't care about anything. And you're giving this a 9 a nine out of 10. That's what you're doing. You're giving this a 9 out of 10. You could tell these people are just lying. That's what it is. Let's move on to Tamala Elliott. Right? She um, super powered fan cast, 382 comics. Comic reviews, you understand me? Aquaman and Romero Aquaman, they're becoming 10, 9, 10. Once you see Aquaman, you get in, and even Aquaman, 9.0. A comic that was so bad, they, they, they initially had it for, for a long run. After three issues, they canceled it, and it, it never recovered. It has never, it, it, it fell off the, the, the 100 list fell off the 200 list it is currently unranked because so little bit has sold but i understand they shipped out the comic putting in a, um, a jim lee cover kind of exclusive thing that they did these comics sat on the shelves for weeks i i i, I even i even heard reports that some of these comic book stores tried to try, try to literally give the comic away because no, nobody was buying it and people still didn't want it that's to tell you how bad it was and for some reason you gave this a 9 out of 10 you could i think this is the kind of nonsense bad girls are coming out that nobody reads 9.0 9 out of 10 and the subjects keep going more batman black man black man tablet run all of these things all these things just giving them 9 10 9 10 9 8 10 9 10 9 10 this is what you're seeing here more Harley Quinn. You, I, I, I mean, oh God, oh God. You, you could tell the nonsense right here. I am Batman 9.3. Nobody reads this. Nobody reads this. This is, this is the one with, um, with, with um, black Batman in New York City that nobody likes. People are literally telling you they don't like it. But somehow you're giving this, this review a 9.3. A 9.3 you're giving this. And you wonder why people are not supposed to trust this nonsense? Look at this one here. Nubia and the Amazon knife. Oh, oh, oh God, oh God. That alone don't tell you that you don't lie out your ass. Honestly, that alone don't tell you that. Nubia and the Amazon, Nubia, Queen of the Amazon is one of the worst comics DC has ever made. I've talked about it many times before. Nubia, Queen of the Amazon, 9.6. That's what you give this comic. This, the, the whole thing is nothing more than an, than an entitled piece of crap when they keep going around telling everybody, Nubia is so fantastic. Nubia is the best queen ever. Nubia is black. Nubia is gay. That makes her even better. Nubia is so smart. Nubia is so amazing. And nobody likes this shit. But for some reason, you in your infinite wisdom have given this a 9.6. You can't trust these people. They lie about everything. This is the kind of thing that they're putting out here, wanting you to believe that, that these comics are so amazing. Check out Bethany W. Pope's Comic Watch 242. This person has a lot of reviews for like X-Men and these sort of things. At X-Men Legends at 10. Spider-Man Life Story 9.9, 9.8, 9. this, 
nine point nine, nine point seven, nine point this, nine point that, nine and you have nine, 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 nine. Okay. Superman, son of Kal El, nine point four. That terrible work, nine point four. Recently, somebody sent me a message. Um, saying because I, I I did a video about the um the the, the, the whole thing with super with Superman's son gave his boyfriend a ring and all the time this post was telling me that um okay well um okay well um you know that the movie you know that this comic was about a whole stack as was that gay thing and you still what little reading and thing and all kind of stuff and and telling me that how I have an agenda against the character and I gave a very detailed explanation as to my problem with Jonathan Kent. I explained why I don't like him as a character. I explained how they never developed him. He has no personality. All the, the most, um, even even Tom Taylor who writes it, came out and blatantly admitted that, that he, that, that you know, he made he made John Kent gay as a, 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 as a publicity stunt. That's what he did. And, and, he, and he admits, he admits again that, you know, him being Bias, he put it, but we know it's gay. Him being, him being bisexual is more important and, and more heroic than him than him actually going out and fighting bad guys and saving people. And that's what you're getting. And this is why it's such a terrible comic, such a terrible character. And I gave a detailed explanation as to why. But no, but this person here, apparently, Superman on a calendar is a 9.4. A comic people continue to reject. And you keep going down more nines, more nines, more nines, eight point nine, eight point this nine, and just keep going down. You have to go all the way down here to get a seven point two. All the way down there, but apparently this person, every comic they've ever read is fantastic because all these people belong and, and, and are owned by the same corporation. And I'm telling you, some of these comic reviewers and stuff are told that they cannot give any, they cannot score any comic. Under eight, under nine, or, the, or, or some, 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 sometimes they have to give it tens. They have to do that, and this is why people cannot trust these sites. People cannot get get information from actual YouTubers like myself who give you accurate information. I am not going to come out here and lie to you. I am telling you, if something is crap, it's crap. Spending your money on it is not going to help. And when they give out these false reviews and make you think it's so good, and you start to wonder now why the comic book industry is dying. This is why, because when when these these things don't just happen in comics, they happen in movies, they happen in TV series, everything. Take Miss Marvel series for instance. I watched two episodes of that and I made a video. I said, I said to myself, I am done with this. This series is going nowhere. It's totally, total garbage. It's terrible. It's not, it's not making any kind of sense. It's not going to work. People, people came back and told me that I was being biased because I, because I only watched two episodes and I, and I, should, and I, I shouldn't talk about it if I don't know. But I saw where it was going and that's why, and that's why I said it. And even some of the same sites that were pushing hard to say that, you know, Miss Marvel was such an accomplishment, eventually had to come out and agree with what I said. I said that the, the show was terrible. The ratings tanked. Nobody liked it. Now you have She-Hulk going on. According to the, according to the people who try, she says who trying to push She-Hulk, it's a fantastic show. It's garbage. I do, I, I do weekly reviews of each episode of She-Hulk. They just keep getting worse. The CGI is terrible, the story is a mess, and it just keeps getting worse. So when I do these videos and I do these things, it's not because, I, not because I'm trying to whine about something, I'm letting you know the accurate, correct information, so you can understand. When you start to, start to see things start to spiral down here, I don't want, I don't want, I don't want, I don't want viewers of my channel to say to themselves, how did this get here? When this come from? No, I'm giving you the information. These people, these comic reviewers, cannot be trusted look at what they're putting out here you're giving terrible comics tens and nines and nines and tens and all sorts of thing and ten and nine and you know, they make you think that all the comics are so fantastic and all of these are so amazing and the nine and ten and all of this stuff here it's a total bold-faced lies bold-faced lies and, and, and i personally will continue to do honest accurate reviews and you can be certain of one thing when it comes to me my soul is not for sale my soul is not for sale 
this is the honest to God truth. This is what I'm doing because I have love for this, for, for, for the entertainment industry. And I'm letting you know up front, garbage is garbage. I'm not, I'm not, I'm not going to spray perfume on it and try and tell you it, 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 it's okay. It's garbage. It's garbage. Let me know your thoughts in the comments. If you have a different opinion, I'd love to hear it. If you like the video, be sure to hit that thumbs up. Subscribe if you haven't already and ring the notification bell. Be notified every time I put out new videos. I shall see you all next time. Take care.